We're joined now by two very special guests, Dr. Anthony Tobia, Associate Professor of Psychiatry at Robert Wood Johnson Medical School, and we have Joe Pantoliano, actor and mental health advocate. Thank you so much for joining me today, you guys. So I, I assume you've been busy. There was a screening of The Matrix last night, I understand. Why The Matrix? Maybe I'll start with you, Anthony. Uh, the, Ma the Matrix, I think on two layers. Number one, incredibly popular. One, really one of the best movies ever made. And because of it, I think it resonates with a lot of people, which then, point two, uh, allows medical students really to, to learn from it and really to, to really be enthralled by it. And you use films as part of your teachings. Can you explain why you do that? Uh, I think that um, media really is a uh, nice source of education because we actually see a lot of human nature and human dynamic that medical students can really learn, learn from. It creates a foundation from which then you could teach psychopathology. So uh, it's very consistent, of course. Films that uh, debut decades ago are, are still perfectly uh, in line today with regard to that same nature. Uh, and so there's consistency with regard to what is viewed and therefore what is taught. And Joe, I'll ask you, I mean, you're an actor, but you've also taken a real interest in mental health. Why? Uh, I, uh, I did a film back in, uh, I think, uh, 05, 06, called Canvas, and um, it explored what happens to a family when mental illness is in, introduced into the family and how it affects the family um, and how all mental disease affects um, everyone, not just the person with the diagnosis. And, uh, and I found it, uh, I thought it was a minority issue uh, until we started filming and I saw uh, and talked to so many people that actually took the job because of the content. And then I, I started understanding, uh, Marsha Gay Harden was in the film, and, and, um, and watching her portrayal of this character, it started reminding me of a lot of behavior that I grew up around with my mom. And, uh, and then I later was diagnosed uh, with clinical depression, and, and through my own recovery, and. Uh, I, I became more and more interested regarding the, the discrimination, shame, and bigotry that sh shrouds a mental, a mental disease. Uh, and so what kind of issues were being discussed? So uh, last night um, we had um, major issues with regard to finding oneself, um, predetermination, uh, self-determination, self-actualization. Uh, we had uh, several clinical syndromes. We had uh, type A personality disorders, all three of them. Uh, we had the evolution of these personality disorders into psychoses, uh, such as the Fregoli syndrome that was demonstrated. Help, paranoia. Pa a lot of paranoia. Uh, uh, doubt and, uh, and acceptance. Yep. So uh, a lot of um, Maslowian theory of acceptance in terms of motivational needs as well. Uh, so we, we were able to capture a lot. And the, the really good thing about it is that in, in a slice of time, in a, in a one minute uh, part of that film, we have medical students and residents asking questions. Is this what's going on? And we have, a, we have an ongoing conversation that doesn't disrupt the movie at all. Absolutely. Where do you think, uh, as far as mental health stigma is going, do you think it's getting better? I think so. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think so. Um, slowly but surely, because of work uh, right. like, uh, like uh, uh, Mr. Pants, that we, we were actually in the forefront and we're speaking out that it's okay, that, this, that these, are, these are actual physical diseases of the central nervous system. And you know, a, lot, a lot of the stigma comes from ignorance. You know, the, the, the brain is not completely uh, coded Absolutely. yet. And slowly and but surely. Maybe. Big fear, yeah, yeah. yeah. people are afraid of, of uh, it. But also the hope aspect is, um, and the, the, they don't advertise this a lot, but with, with any kind of mental distress, uh, the recovery numbers are excellent. Upwards of 80% full recovery. Once you accept, you know the the malady. If you had a, you know, if, you, if if mental illness was considered like getting a cold, in a lot of ways it is. You get the cold, you sit, you know, you work through it, you take your medicine, and you get better. That's so interesting. Well, I wish the best to both of you and in, in, in helping educate people and spreading the word. I think you guys are doing a really great job. So thank you so much for joining me, Dr. Anthony Tobia and Joe Pantoliano. Great to meet you. Thank you. Best thank of you. luck. Thank you very much.